Well, new problems for the Starliner. More leaks and failing thrusters are complicating the flight test. Astronauts Sunny Williams and Butch Wilmore are safe at the space station right now, but docking came with some unexpected challenges. Fox 35's Esther Bauer is live at Kennedy Space Center. So Esther, we just got an update on the mission. What did you find out? <laughs> They are seeing some of the same problems that they saw on the second uncrewed flight test with Starliner. Right now, they are very concerned with why these thrusters are failing, but say they need to run a lot more tests and need a lot more time to figure out the answers. We were out here yesterday for what was really a picture-perfect liftoff. We do want to get that video up on your screen right now, but issues for the mission started around 4.30 on Wednesday afternoon. They saw helium leaking at a faster rate than they had originally planned. And for. They also found two larger leaks on the spacecraft. NASA and Boeing say even though they are losing helium right now in space, they do have enough to complete the mission. But the thruster failure is something they are studying closely. I think we'll have to take a little bit more time to figure out what's going on with the thrusters. But what the software does is it says, I won't use that thruster anymore. And so when we say failed thruster, we're talking it's not available for the GNC flight software to use. In total, they lost five thrusters while they were trying to dock. The crews were able to fix four of the thrusters, but one is still faulty, and they're running tests on it. The astronauts are safe at the International Space Station, and work is underway right now to see if this spacecraft will pass certification after this test. Now, right now, officials with NASA and Boeing are really standing firm that this was a test flight, meaning they were expecting to have issues just like this pop up, but the big concern and what they are tracking closely is being able to bring these astronauts back here, back home to Earth safely. They say if for any reason they have to cut the mission short to do that, they will make that call. Reporting live in Brevard County, Esther Bauer, Fox 35 News. Esther, thanks so much.